Today we're going to be making springtime bunnies and bear cubs. Our learning goals, we will use line, shape, color, value, and texture to create springtime bunnies and bear cubs. I can use line to create texture. Here's some examples of what the finished piece will look like. Today we're going to be drawing the flowers. Using a crayon, draw the centers of your flowers. I like to think about triangles when I'm using composition in my piece, so I make the center of the flowers in a triangular form. That makes a bit more balanced looking piece. Do several of each color. Now you're going to draw the petals for your flowers. You can make some abstract looking flowers if you want. You can go with more traditional styles or a mixture of both. stems. Make sure if a stem is to go behind a flower that you make a break in your line and then start it again underneath of a flower. You can do the same color or a contrasting color.
Do you remember what our learning goal was today? Think about how you placed your flowers. Why was that important? Why did we use both crayon and marker? Today, just using water and a paintbrush, you're going to brush over the marker lines that you added to your paper to create watercolors. Today we're going to draw a bunny. If you'd rather draw the bear, go ahead and look at the guide. We're going to begin our bunny drawing. Fold your paper in half, fold it in half again. Open it up, place a dot in the center of your paper. Go ahead and draw a curved line for the nose, and then two more curved lines for the mouth. Draw a circle around the nose and the mouth. Place a dot where you would like the top of the head to go. Leave plenty of room for the ears. Now place a dot for the sides of the cheeks. Draw two curved lines to form the sides of the face. Place two dots at the top of the paper where you would like the tips of the ears to be. Draw curved lines from the dots to the head for the ears. Draw two curved lines for the body. Draw a curved line extending from the nose to the ears on each side. Draw and fill in the eyes. Draw curved lines in every section. Add eyelashes if you like. Erase all the dots that you use to guide your lines. Outline the nose and mouth. You can use a marker. Fill in the eyes with marker.
Now fill in every section with vertical lines or a pattern of your choice. When you're all finished drawing your bunny, go ahead and cut it out and glue it on top of your flowers. Now find somewhere special to hang it and enjoy.